on YouTube, it's Spike Vampire, and I'm going to make my tarot reading video. Um, I said in my last video that I would do one on tarot readings, a little bit more in depth, because I just gave a general thing last time. Um, in tarot readings, you're going to be using your tarot cards. Um, now, I like to, I keep mine in my box. I've taken it out right before reading, and I have my tarot cards. I don't keep them in any order when they're being stored in a box. That doesn't matter to me. I guess some people have their own little mannerisms and things like that with theirs, but, you know, I just keep mine in a pile in my box. <laughs> um, now, with the tarot reading, what you're doing is you're asking a question or trying to get advice or guidance on your path. Um, the whole thing is, a lot of people use tarot like, ooh, is this going to happen in my future? Well, I guess sometimes it can kind of allude to that, but a lot of times it's more like the advice. Um, think about it kind of like the read. It's kind of a guiding kind of principle. It's kind of a guiding thing. It's all about guidance. Now, and also, don't freak out about the obvious, like, meanings of some of the cards, like death. Death does not necessarily mean death, like, physical sense. Death can be the end of something. You know, and think about it in a life, death, rebirth kind of thing. The ending of something is kind of a happiness because, you know, they get to move on to the bigger and better. Um, that can be the death of anything, you know, like a bad habit or um, an, a relationship, which is sad, but you also get to, everybody gets to move on, and they grew and changed and transformed. Um, so, I'm going to teach you how to do tarot readings and give you a little bit of advice. First things first, I do tarot readings on a cloth, a tarot cloth, every time I do them. It's kind of like an altar cloth, you know, it separates the mundane and the magical kind of stuff, but this also just gives it this nice little mystical appeal. Um, so, my tarot cloth happens to be having the card positions for the Celtic cross spread, um, which is one of the more traditional spreads. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a little, quick little five card reading and let you explore the other reading, uh, other types of readings yourself. Um, so, what I like to do is I shuffle cards. Um, while I'm shuffling, I like to think of my question or my life. You can either ask a specific question you, or a situation you need guidance on, or you can just kind of let it guide your life. Right now, I'll just do the life one. Um, I'm not going to interpret every card for this video specifically, but I'm going to give you some little pointers while you're doing it. So I shuffle it, and then I'm going to um, cut it into four piles, because I'm going to do a little four card reading. So I'm going to move my camera. So first pile, second pile third pile, fourth pile. And I'm just going to take the top part. Flip them the same way every time. Um, because then, you know, you don't have to worry about it being skewed in any way, shape, or form. Um, okay, so, I have four cards here. So, now what you do is you have to examine the type of cards that you have. So, in this specific one, I have two upright, two reversed. I have the Four of Swords upright, the Five of Pentacles upright, the, um, the Emperor uh, reversed, and the Moon reversed. Now, in my little four card readings that I do, first position is what's at hand. The second position is your past influences on this situation. Your third is your ponder card, the thing you really have to ponder. And then the fourth card is kind of your what you should do. Um, sometimes I like to add a fifth card, which is like your final outcome, but that's not necessary. Okay, so you have the four cards. Let me give you another hint right here. Examine the type of cards you have in your readings. In this one, I have specifically two reverse and two upright. Upright means that it's a, very, it's a strong meaning, and it comes from within, generally. Also, reverse means that it comes from with outside or it has a weak meaning. Um, be warned, though, some cards are more extreme when they're reversed. Um, so, you know, it's all about the card. Learn the meanings. Also, each suit has a correspondence to an element and thus correspondences to the type of meaning. Swords cards relate to air. A lot of time it's communication and intelligence. Um, Co uh, coins, pentacles, discs, whatever yours is, this is pentacles, is earth. Earth relates to mundane matters. A lot of times it deals with finances and profit. Um, 
Major Arcana is kind of like the spirit. It relates a lot to the human condition and the evolution of the spirit and the soul towards enlightenment. That's generally how I view it, at least. Um, then you also have Wands cards, which are fire, and they relate to energy. Now, you know, if they're upright, high energy. If they're reversed, low energy. It's all about putting the position, the element, and the meaning of the number. Um, and then your fifth type of card is Cups. Cups relates to water, so emotions. If there's a majority of water cards, you're letting your emotions cloud your reason. So if that's if you have a lot of Cups. Um, if there's a majority of Wands cards, fire cards, you probably should act while your, high, uh, your energy is high. Um, if there's a majority of Pentacles cards, that tells you you should think more like an accountant. Be looking out for your profit um, and also your abundance in your mundane matters. And if there's a majority of swords, a lot of times that foretells either communication problems or it foretells things that are more about the intelligence realm. Um, so look at that when you're doing your readings. Now, you know, every card has its general little meaning. Now, what you should be doing is you should be interpreting it by position and by the fact that it's in this place, this place, this place, or this place. Um, you know, because one card reversed and one card right up, it's totally different. So, right now, what you would do is you would go about interpreting each of these cards and applying it to the position that they're in. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, after you would do that, you know, you summarize it all up, tie it together, because tarot, really, to have a good reading, is relating it to the person that you're reading for and tying it together in a cohesive story so you can get the deeper meaning. Um, so then what you would do after you finish a reading is just put your cards away, pack up your tarot cloth, and I cast a circle before I do tarot reading, so I would take down my circle. Um, so I think that's going to be my little video on tarot. And um, I hope you learned better how to do tarot readings. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Also, if you have any other questions, anything you would like to see me do videos on, please leave me a comment or send me a message. Um, so, peace out. Blessed be everybody.